Having the engineering school be in the top 10, I feel it's going to be something that's going to really benefit my career in the future. Everybody's immediately going to recognize the University of Texas and, and the engineering program here is first rate. When I first started looking, I wanted to do the MBA route, and I don't know if I'd even heard of EM at that point, but a colleague at IBM strongly recommended doing EM over MBA. He felt like it was much more applicable to someone with a technical background. I've been here, I've been in Austin for three and a half years, so um, I looked at the programs at the University of Texas, and uh, specifically I wanted to go the route of management as opposed to the design engineering that uh, I'm doing. So um, I never thought of MBA because I knew that would be uh, tailored towards uh, the broader business market kind of uh, a profession and I wanted to stay in the engineering profession but get to know management. So uh, I found this very uh, rewarding as far as what I would be able to do. I work for a company where my uh immediate manager is actually a alumnus of the engineering management program so I would heard him speak fondly of it before and uh, we explored it further together and I just uh, decided that it was a better fit for me and my future progress than you know a, a MBA. That's uh, you know what I pretty much wanted to do as an MBA. Um, uh, for me it seems you know I, I, I'm in the uh, R&D department and making uh, software from uh, English to Japanese and I want to focus on uh, more of the development side rather than the actual business. I've been with my code, I think called 14 or 17, I forget. Uh, we've been, this is our third semester and uh, yeah, I pretty much have talked to most of them and uh, out of class randomly, not every weekend, but sometimes we meet after class just to hang out. But, you know, without exception, it, it is absolutely wonderful to interact with these folks that work at Lawrence Livermore uh, Labs, uh, work for Boeing and, and NASA and, you know, the chip companies up here in Austin. It's just a great perspective uh, of different businesses and organizations and how they operate. I became uh, acquainted with uh, some of the brightest and, uh, and best uh, uh, professionals in, in the market. And the program that I was in, I was able to uh, uh, become friends throughout the two years that we were together uh, and doing projects together with the companies and some of them were competitors of our, our companies, but we were uh, able to become friends. and. And I have to admit that even past two years from my graduation, I still have some of those friends still contacting us and we get together and we have a very close relationship and that was a great experience to, to keep, keep in touch with them and have this network after graduation. The faculty here at UT is just outstanding. I feel that we're getting the cream of the crop. They're uh, specifically selected for the, our format, for the uh, executive format, and I feel like they're the best uh, professors that I've ever encountered in, in my undergraduate and just absolutely beneficial to have their perspective uh, in a program. I've found that working with fellow uh, professionals is very different from working with pure students. Uh, undergraduate or graduate, uh, everyone seems to be very busy and knowledgeable about what they are doing as far as career. So the interaction seems to be uh, pretty up to the to the point, and uh, the discussions when they come to uh, analyzing the stuff we learned in class, they're very hands-on because uh, most of the people have really encountered real-world um, issues. If you're considering the program, just go ahead and apply. You can always say no if you don't get in, but uh, if you want to move forward with your career, it's best to just start taking those steps. Uh, it's the best thing you can do is just start working on it. Uh, if you say that, I'm going to do this six months from now, it's just going to be something you put off and keep on putting off. So, might as well get started.